Hey everyone, Chris Gampett here for theufoblogger.com, and today I'm teaching you a quick tutorial on how to edit skin tones. Um, so to start, we're going to work on this image of Asta right here, and to begin, I'm going to actually reset the image to what it originally was. So as you see, there was a little bit of my beauty dish there, so I'm going to start out by cropping a bit. So I'm going to crop in to right around there. Perfect. Okay, so I started out by cropping. Most people will work with this panel right here, which is the basic adjustment panel. Um, avoid that until the end. So what I like to start out with is I actually go all the way from the bottom and I start out with a color profile of some sort. I have a bunch loaded up, but this was shot with a Canon DSLR, so you can load up basically anything you want. I will guess I'll upload, I'll use camera portrait for the moment. So from there I keep moving up towards the areas that I really want to work with. Um, let's do some lens correction first. So I don't really like that. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. Then I'm going to add some sharpening just a little bit. That's totally fine. Now here's where we really get into working with skin. This is the color panel, and there's hue, there's saturation, and there's luminance. You're not really going to work with hue, so don't worry about that, but you will work with saturation and luminance. Now what Lightroom has had for a really long time is there's this little button here. So if you click on that and you move it over to areas, it will highlight certain colors on the right if you take a look and you'll be able to figure out what colors are associated with that pixel that you're moving over. So making skin tones look better is all about the luminance and the saturation. So Asta here has orangish skin tones according to Lightroom, so we're going to boost those up. We're not going to boost it up that much, and we're not going to lower it this much, or else it starts looking like that. So we're going to boost it up a little bit, and then we're also going to saturate the reds, see what happens there. It affects her lips and it affects her top. And then I like the blue down the bottom, so let's see what happens when we boost that. We're going to boost that a bit as well too. Now for saturation, when we saturate the blues, that looks a lot better. If we saturate the reds, it's also affecting a little bit around her, so we're not going to saturate the reds that much. And if I saturate the oranges, she looks way too orange there. If I desaturate it, she looks black and white, basically. So we're going to very slightly desaturate her. And we're going to see what happens with yellows. Yellows affect her armpit, as you see in other areas. So we're going to desaturate that a little bit as well, too. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to increase the luminance on the yellows to get rid of any problems over there. So now I'm looking at this again. Probably want to tone the luminance down a little bit on the orange level. So I'm going to do that right now. And right around there, it starts to look like a much better image. I'm really happy with it. So now what you can do is you can actually move up to the adjustment panel, the basic adjustment panel, and you can tweak the white balance a little bit if you want to. I'd actually recommend tweaking the white balance a little bit first. So if I warm this up a bit, her skin looks a little bit better. And then if I add the contrast, no, I don't really want to do that. So let's tone that down. Let's decrease the black level to make the image look a little bit sharper. And then also increase the contrast a bit. And then from there, we have a photo that looks a lot better in the skin tones. And that's really about all you have to do in order to actually make sure that you get the best skin tones you possibly can. Um, that's really, honestly, pretty much everything that I do. But here's the thing, you also have to do this individually to each photo. So there is no special preset that you can do. I mean, if it's all in one shooting session, maybe you could save the images and then sync all the settings together, but even then you'll probably have to make some specific adjustments to each image. That's about it right now, guys. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and uh, hope to see you soon in the future. 
Um, for more like this, uh, check out thefootballographer.com. Take care.